Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today, I'm gonna to show you a few different ways that you can take a screenshot on your Android tablet and some of the cool stuff that you can actually do with those screenshots. So, let's jump into it, check it out, and here we go. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. And here we have it. This is my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. And the first method that I wanna show you is the most simple way. And this one is going to work basically on every Android tablet. The next two versions, the next, next two methods are gonna be specific to this tablet or this, the Galaxy Tab series or other devices that have, uh, that have input pins on there. So um, what you wanna do is you wanna push the power button and the volume down button together at the same time. Push those together, you'll see, uh, let's see, we get that timed up right. There you go, now you have that flash and we'll just take one more here, we'll let that go down. Well, uh, there we go, we'll click another one. And you can see there's that little bar at the bottom and we click that, we can start editing. That's a little editing uh, toolbar down there. And let's say that we want to start drawing on the screen. I can just go ahead and start drawing on there. I can write something on there if I want like that. I can change the color that I write. So let's say I want to write just, uh, you know, just uh, something on there or I want to circle some stuff or cross some stuff out. I can do that pretty easy just like that. It's really, really simple. And now I can come here when I'm ready to save it, click that little arrow with the, down, uh, the box with the arrow in it, click that and save this. And now it's going to go right to my, uh, my gallery. And there it is right there in my gallery. And if I want to edit it further, I can. I can come in here, for instance, and I can crop it and I can save just a portion of this if I wanted to. So something like that. So I can just crop this any old kind of way. And there you go. Now, if I didn't want to save it, I just hit the back button. I'll hit discard and it'll go back to its original uh, screenshot. So yeah. All right. Now, um, also, I wanted to show you on here. Let me just go into a website. Let me go to uh, let me go to my website for here. This is my uh, this is my photography website, and I'm going to take another screenshot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the volume down button and the power button at the same time, and get that screenshot. We'll see the little flash. And now, right here, there's a box with an arrow with arrows going down. And I missed it. it. If the box if the toolbox goes away too quick, just go ahead and take another screenshot. And now you'll see that box down there with the arrows in the box in it, uh, the box with the arrows in it. I'm gonna do that. And now I can do a scrolling screenshot. And this is going to allow me to be able to keep on scrolling down through the whole page until I get to the bottom or until I stop tapping to get to, uh, to finish scrolling. So there we have it. That looks like that's the end of the page right there. And now I can click, um, that little circle right there, and this is the actual screenshot, the entire screenshot all in a single view so I can see that whole page. And if I wanna go in larger, I just double tap it, and there we go, it fills up my screen, and now I can, uh, I can see the whole thing right there. Very, very cool. And that way, if you wanna share an entire web page with somebody, you can do that. So yeah, and you can still edit this, you can still draw on stuff if you wanted to go ahead and uh, if you want to draw on something here, or you can just zoom in like that if you wanted to, or you can or you can draw. Let's see, let me get this thing going right. Um, let's see, where is my where's my tool, my pen tool? It's in here somewhere. Hold on, let me hit cancel. Let me go, uh, let me click that. And now I can go ahead and I can draw on stuff like that. Maybe I can cross that out, circle that. And there you go. And you can change the color on here if you want. You can change the thickness on here. So let's say you want to make a, you want to make that red and make it thinner there. And then you can go ahead and you can save that. So I'll click back, I'll hit save, and I'll save it over the original. And there we go. So now when I go ahead and, and um, enlarge it, you'll see there it has all those uh, annotations over top of it. So yeah. That is very, very nice, very cool, and you can do that pretty much on any Android tablet there. So, all right, now let me show you quickly, if you have a S Pen because you have one of the Galaxy Tabs, what you can do is right here where you see this little circle with, with the pen icon in there, you can click that, 
And now you can select something like Smart Select or Screen Write. So let's say that you chose Smart Select. What you can do is you can just choose just a portion of the screen and you can just choose like right there. You can just click that. And now you can see there, it's gonna Smart Select and it's gonna actually put a, a box around there trying to figure out that this is just the section that you want and it's gonna make nice even square or even lined boxes there. So now if you wanna write on here, you can go ahead and choose to write. Let's say that you just wanted to, uh, to put a little note in here or you wanted to, let's say that you wanted to draw on here because you wanted to show people like your leading lines, you can do that. Maybe you wanna change the color for the next section. You can put like, you know, stuff right in here and show that. So yeah, you can do some really cool stuff and maybe you want to send a note to your, uh, to your developer telling him to fix this. You can tell him, you know, fix and put an arrow going down there. And then when you're ready to save it, you just click the little, uh, the little square download button and it saves right there. And now we can go over to our gallery and there it is right there in our gallery with all of our notes and everything right there. And so very, very cool. So that's it. Oh, let me show you the other one. Sorry, let me show you this one. We'll get in the pin. And now this is the screen right one. This is the other one. Once you click that, it's gonna do a screen. Uh, it's gonna take a screenshot. And now you can just write on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to, to red so we can see it a little bit easier. And now you can write on the screen. You can just say like, you know, hello world. And, um, and there you go. And you can draw around there. You can, you can do whatever you want on here and just draw on the screen immediately. And when you're done, you can go ahead and hit the download button, save that. It's gonna go to your camera roll. And now you can go right there and there it is in your camera roll ready to go. And you can make further edits if you want to. You can share it, put it in your favorites. You can do all kinds of stuff with it from your camera roll. So that's pretty much it. Three ways that you can take screenshots on your Android tablet. If you have a Galaxy Tab, especially with an S Pen, it's gonna allow you to do some extra things, but you can actually, uh, that first method with the buttons, you can do that on pretty much any Android tablet. It's really quite handy and pretty incredible what you can do and some of the features that come along with it as far as editing those screenshots. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is it. That is how you can take screenshots on your Android tablet. And there's multiple ways you can do it depending on which tablet you have. And there's also editing features. Once you take your screenshots, you can do things like crop it. You can write on top of it, draw on top of it. You can do all kinds of great things with those screenshots. It is fantastic. So if you've never taken screenshots before and you need to, or maybe you're coming from, you know, a iPad over to an Android tablet and you don't know how to do that feature, well, now you know. So it's very quick, it's very easy, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. So anyways, I'm gonna leave a link to, well, my, uh, I'll leave a link to my social media contacts down below so you can reach me there. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.